Hey everyone, I'm Victor Fong. I'm the father of two kids uh, during the circuit breaker season where we're all stuck at home and working from home. My son passed me this book, 52 Things Kids Need From The Dad. I think he wants me to take this time to really learn and uh, build strong relationship with him. So what I've been doing during the past one month or so, I've been trying to read a book, uh, one chapter a day. All right? So I thought of recording them down so that I can uh, revisit those chapters uh, through the form of a video. And I thought as I record them down, I can share with you that you can also learn to uh, learn this and apply this into your life as well. So for the, uh, today I'm already at chapter 15. For the rest of chapter 1 to 14, I put them down in my YouTube channel, Victor Fong. Uh, you can search for my name and you can subscribe and click the bell icon so that you receive a new notification whenever I release a new video of the Bible, of this chapter. Right, so today, chapter 15, I'm we are learning kids need their dad to ignore or even applaud the dance on their garage door. Now the author, all right, uh, has a front yard that's uh, quite a lot, has seen quite a lot of activity over the years. So they have a stick ball on Easter Sunday afternoon, they have a, a chalk art gallery, they have horseware content, they have a body shop, auto body shop repair, they have tandem bike maintenance, they even have science experiments like mentors in Diet Coke Trick. Right, so it's really, really, really messy. So one year to celebrate the high, their children's high school graduation, he crafted a post-it note and then paste on the garage door. Now speaking of garage door, he finally replaced that about five years ago. He cost him one thousand two hundred dollars. Right, it made all the difference in the world when he pulled up to the home. It's like very crisp, very clean, very flawless for about a month. Right, so he chose a very heavy duty grip. So that even if a uh, baseball hits those uh, garage door, it will not make a dent, alright? But once in a while, on the back swing, this bat will hit, the baseball bat will hit the garage door, and then it's strong enough to leave a crease in the surface, alright? So, he think that maybe one of his kids is a culprit, but he's not pointing any fingers. Because, first he asks, how did he, as a father, react to those fresh them on his fresh new garage door? So he said, mm, maybe he did pretty well because he calculated the value of the events that had taken place in his own driveway and he knew he had come away way ahead. Why so? His teenage son and some of their lifelong friends had chosen to hang out in his front yard. Uh, so no beer cans inside, no police car pulling up with bad news, no video game crashing or slashing in the dark basement. So these young men were playing uh, the time-honored game of baseball. So what kind of investment does that require? Maybe a broom handle, $3.00. Uh, maybe they use a ball, baseball is about $6. So his garage ball with stick roof, stick bruises, priceless, all marked down from $1,200. So he says, a home is to be lived in, right? If we have kids and we tend to stress out every time a floor gets scrubbed, every time a table gets scratched or a door gets dented, our home is not going to be a place where young people want to hang out. So in our community, there's a tradition where young people uh, if you enter the house, you kick off your shoes at the front door. So tell the kids not to worry about the carpets, right? But he's, he's happy for the show of respect, right? Because it's sometimes news that the dozens of stickers, wood sanders, crops, Birkenstocks, which created quite a pile in his foyer. But for us, make our home a place that kids feel comfortable. So we always know where our own kids are and who they are with, right? There's a great story told by Harman Kilbev, the all-star, Power hitter for Minnesota Twins, he once said, Father used to play my brother and me in the yard. Mother would come out and say, You are tearing up the grass. The dad would reply, We are not raising grass, we are raising boys. Key takeaway from this session You have heard it before, but it's worth repeating. Your kids grew up so fast, they will be gone before you know it. After that, you have plenty of time to repaint, rescreen, recarpet, and relax. Read Barbara Johnson said, The most important things in your home are people. Not things. With that, I end the reading of chapter 15 and uh, see you in my next video.